If you're an agency or e-com brand owner, then you totally know these five daily frustrations that cost you time, money and leave you stressed and frustrated. And I'm going to show you in this episode here how you can fix them and how you can make sure to grow your business the most efficient and effective way possible. Waking up to chaos and ending the day with guilt. Does that sound familiar? Look. Being a seven or eight figure agency or e-com brand owner doesn't mean that you have to be constantly stressed, feeling guilty of not working enough. Instead, it is totally possible to feel like making progress, feeling proud of what you have accomplished and feeling relaxed at the end of the day. Hey, this is Killian and I've worked with over 100 agency and e-com brand owners in the past five years, all having the following challenges that we're gonna go through now. The first typical daily frustration we see a lot is that as an agency or e-com brand owner, you wake up and directly people want something from you. There are urgent messages, there are directly fires to put out in your business and you directly check your phone and directly see all the things that have to be put out in the business. Now, does that sound familiar? Alex Ramosi actually famously said he protects his hours from very early in the morning until around lunchtime. That's just uh, me time, he says, where he gets this deep work done. And then afterwards, he takes care of all of the fires and all the little things that have to be done that need him. So make sure you protect that. What do you need for this? good habits when it comes to your phone. And it also starts with structuring your calendar properly. So the first thing you do is not directly, you know, check into stuff, but you have directly your one big thing for your deep work block lined up. The second daily frustration is that then during the day, there's always spontaneous problems that need you as the owner. You know, people ask you stuff on Slack, your team asks you stuff, clients or service providers always need something. Everybody wants something from you and everybody needs you as the owner or the founder. Now, this destroys your focus and it distracts you. So what do you do about this? First of all, the big underlying thing you have to fix is, obviously, you have to have a team who takes care of things. The question is, do you have the right people in the right seats? That's the first question you should ask yourself. Then second one is, do you have clear company documentation? Which means that it says clear expectations, what you do, how you do things, and how you react to certain challenges. And then thirdly is, do you have an SOP library where typical challenges, typical things are documented? And then if there's something that hasn't been solved before, then you have the mindset that you record that, you do what, what has to be done, you fix something, record yourself while you do it, and then you put that into the SOP library so in the future, they can fix that by themselves because there's a proven process for that. The third biggest frustration is lack of energy after lunch. We've seen this a lot that guys, you know, drink coffee early in the morning, have a boost of energy, and then they crash usually after lunch. Usually that happens because of a number of reasons. First of all, you've drinking too much coffee too early. Secondly, you've probably not taken enough breaks and you've overloaded your focus and your brain, so you're really exhausted. To fix this, you need to fix your nutrition intake, not just during lunchtime, but in general, better breaks during the day, and then also making sure that you take good habits into cooperation like lunch walks and things like that. Number four is that you have back-to-back -back meetings that are inefficient and they drain you. A lot of you guys have lots of meetings even already early in the day and then more meetings, calls throughout the entire day. Very often the problem is the following. You have meetings too early in the day and you have too many meetings most of the time. So here's how to fix this. First of all, have the meetings early before lunchtime. That's fine. And in the afternoon is also usually better. And then the question is usually how many meetings in total do you have and how much time do you have in between? The problem is when you have back-to-back -back meetings that are like one hour, two hour and so on, and then you have in total like three hours of meetings and don't even have proper breaks in between, that's very bad because then you feel super drained in the evening afterwards, especially if you're a guy who's not liking to have many calls, you will be done. So what I recommend you then is like have some buffer in between to take some breaks and also just schedule less calls on one day. 
you don't need meetings for everything. You should rather use more async type of communication. A lot of guys, they overdo meetings. They have daily meetings about everything. The whole calendar is full. What culture of ownership do you have there? If for everything you need a meeting. And especially if you have a bigger company, if you in your role as the owner have to be in every meeting. In general, if you have to be on a meeting, always have a clear agenda what will be talked about. Have also a clear start date where you say, okay, now we're gonna do this meeting. And then it's very clear that you hold the boundaries that you have to go. If you say this directly at the start, the meeting will be more efficient and then you will be earlier out of the meeting, have less meetings in total, and then will be less strained in the evening. And number five, that is a really common one, is that it's late in the evening and you feel guilty of not having accomplished or worked enough. This is so common because if they are happening for you and you waste time because of lots of distractions, you waste time because of low energy, you're scrolling on the phone too much and then therefore not working on the right things consistently. And then what's happening in the evening, you then have to catch up because your list is still too long and you still have to do so many things. And then you feel guilty of not having accomplished enough or you feel guilty of having wasted time. Obviously, it comes from you actually having wasted time. Sometimes it can simply come from the fact that you feel like you worked on the wrong things and you just took way too long to finishing everything. Now, what do you do about this? Fix all the four things we said before. More deep work on the business early in the day need to have solid habits that make you tired like gym like winding down in the evening so that you have great sleep wake up recovered not too late get deep work hours in and then boom right get to the good stuff that grows your business then after that you can dive into all the fires and so on that you have to put out but do it in a focused structured way so that you have work blocks and breaks in between. All of this will result in you working less in the business, more on the business, therefore feeling great about having accomplished more. If that was helpful for you guys, I'm curious actually, what are your tips that you have seen to overcome these top five frustrations? Let us know in the comments, we're reading all of them. If you want any help with fixing your daily productivity, your focus and your structure so you can work more deep work hours on the business versus in the business and therefore grow your business the most efficient and effective way possible, then we can help you. Go to killermarket.com, apply for your free consultation call and we're going to come up with a plan to help you achieve all of that. Click like and subscribe and then see you on the next episode.